So now that we've covered the basic difference between a material versus a product and how Katana treats these different items, another element that's very important to consider when you're starting the process of getting your data into Katana is something called stock keeping units or SKU code. It can also be called what's called a variant code. And these codes are used by companies to uh, track their stock. So SKUs, which are found here in the variant code slash SKU column, should be applied to all of your products and materials. Now there's a lot of important reasons behind this, but uh, number one is that is a unique code that can always reference an item that you track in stock. And that's why it needs to be unique in the sense that your inventory correlates to perhaps multiple sales channels and it all resorts back to one code which tells you how much of something you have in stock available. The other unique and important thing about variant codes and, and SKU codes is that they're utilized by other software platforms when you're dealing with platforms that have products or items inside of them. This can include accounting platforms. It includes e-commerce platforms and also warehouse management platforms. Every single one of these types of systems that deal with the buy, sell, logistics, distribution, trade of goods will have SKUs as a reference. And so when you're connecting your Katana account with outside systems, and maybe you're using an extended data model where you are connecting through API, then what is very important to make sure is that those SKU codes are matching and unique to the other systems that will be using and exchanging this information. So something to also think about as you start getting your data into Katana is coming up with a really easy to understand and useful naming convention for all of your products and material variants.